Conservation is an important part of my farm because I want the farm to be here long after I'm not here. We need to preserve our soil on the farm and so that we can have a productive farm for generations to come. Uh, also interconnected with that is, is water quality, water conservation. Uh, we're always striving to, to make sure that the water that leaves our farm is as pure as it can be. Here is my no-till soybean field. You can see the soybeans are growing right in the corn stalks left from last year's corn that was grown here. We do this to eliminate and control erosion. We eliminate the wind erosion with the residue that's here and we, and we do a pretty good job of controlling the water erosion. The, the residue that's left absorbs the rain when it falls and keeps it from moving off the landscape. We have several grassback terraces on the farm. They serve as erosion control structures and a secondary benefit is that they're water retention structures. When we get uh, an above average rainfall, the water will pond on the upslope side of the terrace and be slowly discharged through an underground tile into our drainage system. So we're trying to slow down the water as it moves through the watershed. We have a number of rows of trees in our fields on the farm. We call them field windbreaks, uh, field shelter belts. It helps eliminate wind erosion of our sandy soil. It also creates kind of a greenhouse effect in between the rows and we see better crop growth between the rows of trees than we do out in the open field where the wind is blowing. We have several wetlands on the farm, a couple naturally occurring that have never been drained and a couple that have been drained and that we restore. We don't need a lot of water moving through our our rivers all at once, uh, that's what creates the floods. So if we can hold the water upland, uh, we, we're at the head of the watershed here on the farm. That's where it needs to be.